Welcome to Awaken You Healing Center. I am Shelly, the healing yogi. Here we are holding space for healing, our powerful source of communication, which in the chakras, that this is the throat chakra. It is known in Sanskrit as the Vishuddha chakra. A long time ago, someone told us some messages that we were getting from people that we loved and honored were that our voice didn't matter or to maybe to sit down and be quiet, stay small. Maybe it was a little bit of a different message that you received as a child and then it created this energetic block and it could have also manifested over the years into chronic sore throats, strep throat, thyroid issues, neck issues. I know that many years ago I struggled with hypothyroidism and I had goiter nodules. At one point, my throat chakra had become so infested and so damaged that I had this giant pulsating pussy goiter that looked like a grapefruit. It looked like a tumor on my throat. It was this huge manifestation of never speaking my truth. So here, my beautiful soul friends, I really, I call on the healing power to this throat space and knowing that healing is like with anything, it's a continuum. And so within this session, all based around the throat center, it's not just going to be a one and a done kind of thing, that there's many different practices through the asana. Today, I am going to share with you the healing power of voice. And this is one of those things that once again, I feel like it happens around late childhood, early teenagerhood, where if our voices didn't sound like somebody on the radio or the TV, that we shut it down and we shamed ourselves or maybe even someone shamed us. And that's the case for many of us. And I really encourage you to know that part of healing your throat is embracing and accepting the vibration, the tone, the pitch, the frequency that resides within you. And that the universe gave you this exact space within your throat chakra because it is your most healing vibration that will help heal you, just as mine is for me. And sometimes you know when you hear music and it gives you goosebumps because that person is so tapped in and so tuned into their throat chakra. Their throat chakra is like this spiral wide, wide, wide open. And the chakras are said to be these energetic spinning wheels that are spinning and spinning and spinning. And when we can find alignment and balance, they're just open and open and open. But what's happened over time and over these experiences where we were told to shut up, to be quiet, to not talk, or that's not right, where we were shamed or blamed or guilted, our spinning wheels have become stuck. I almost think of like a stick in your spokes. There's all of these sticks and now our chakra is stuck. And that could be sometimes, I know sometimes when I sink, it gets really sore or sometimes when I'm speaking my truth, it gets really hard and I get really nervous. And knowing that part of healing is getting comfortable with the discomfort. So we're going to begin, and I wanted to share this beautiful mantra with you. And know this about mantra, that mantra isn't about getting the Sanskrit right. It's not about knowing exactly what the meaning is. Sanskrit has been chanted. Om was said to be the sound of creation, the sound that started everything. That vibration is where our mantra, the sacred sounds originated. And I'm going to bring a mantra to us that is going to help heal and expand our heart. Our heart is connected with our throat chakra. When we can open this heart, the space that we've guarded for so long, we're bringing up that awareness. And with the power of our voice, we can heal so much, so much. So I'm going to bring this mantra. I'm going to bring my most sacred instrument. This is a beautiful buffalo drum with these resonant, beautiful healing sounds. 
And so I invite you to find yourself in a comfortable seat. Perhaps it could be a supported Matsyandrasana, a supported fish where you have a pillow on your back, your legs length and long, you have the pillow under your back and then you exhale, open your heart, open your throat if that feels good. Perhaps it's laying in a Shavasana, perhaps it's joining me in a comfortable seat. And here our mantra begins. And I just want you to hear, I want you to bring awareness to your throat. You could bring the healing color of blue. You could just bring the healing intention, the healing thought of healing this energy center. And with the sounds of the sacred buffalo drum from the beautiful feather of this beautiful bird, with this amethyst crystal, with the wood from the earth, that we can be open to healing the Vishuddha Chakra. And again, you can listen. If it feels good, you can hum. If the melody calls to you, you can even, like as we were children, if we didn't know the words, we would, I, you, da, we, I, lo, we, da, I, I. Because it's not about getting the mantra on, it's the intention of healing. So join me in that seat. And perhaps it's finding a little movement. I go You 
Jukahi gure 
Namaste.